Great to have you. I heard they're great. Great to have you. Thank you, Well, before we're, we're off air, it's sobering thought. Can sleep soundly if you sort out your security. Yeah. Richard Taylor's here. Um, Richard, so your years of experience, we saw you there, the old magic's still there, isn't it? So it took you seven minutes to get in. That seems like quite a lot, actually. You've been in, into places quicker than that when you're a it, criminal. It, surprisingly, it doesn't take that long, actually. Once you've got your point of entry, uh, 11 minutes maximum to even spin the house, and that's get out with all the cash, jewellery, and uh, identification, like yeah. credit cards and <laughs> things of that nature. Even, even the Hoff's house probably could get done. But anyway, um, it literally takes seven minutes, yeah. He's a church minister now, by the way. So oh, yes, yes okay. He's a reform. The economy, <laughs> uh, with the economy being so bad, you're not, you're not coming out of the, retirement, the credit, are you? The credit card <laughs> just not got me back. No, absolutely right. not. No, absolutely okay, not. pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with you. Yeah. Oh, I used to steal cars as well. Anyway, okay. You said you wouldn't steal kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true. But there must be sort of simple deterrents that we can all do to try and prevent this from happening. Yeah, I think there are two. We, we call them psychological barriers and physical barriers. Psychological barriers is that you create things that the bird looks at the house and thinks, no, that's too difficult. Things like anything that causes him delay to get in or a lot of noise he has to make in trying to get in will cause paranoia in his mind. He's thinking the police are going to come, it's on top. And Such as what? Well, it, low hedges to start at the front, not high hedges, so he's not undercover. Gates and things of that nature, even though they can get over them, it doesn't matter. They're psychological barriers. The more things that are in his way, they, they all add up to being psychological hindrances to him. Things as well, people, you know, today, they, they have no blinds in their windows. Their windows like, is like a shop window. It's like Comet, look in, see the 52-inch plasma, all yeah. the gadgets, the Wii, and they think, oh, that's lovely, we're going to have that, and they're in before you know it. So it's just safety in making sure that the, the burglar, potential burglar, is visually impaired, really. Right, okay. Yeah. And, scary, isn't it? and what about the sort of physical, the, the, the physical the stuff? Physical side, the alarm, yeah, I mean, for example. The two, the two main things for me, I g give it to you, is, yeah. is a nasty dog. Right. That's one thing. Okay. You don't want it to be or, nasty to you, though, obviously. No, nasty to you, no, obviously choose, not, yeah. no, but, but of course, in today's society, you know, it's like, yeah. you know, if it bites you, you can sue the, you can sue yeah. the owner. But anyway, yeah. nasty dog, but I'm not recommending that. Alarm system, a good alarm system, not a dummy box. Don't think I'll do it cheap, because that doesn't work. Cheap doesn't work. You do it like that. A burglar knows what a dummy box looks like. He goes into yeah. any DIY store, he has a look and sees one and goes, that's a dummy box. No good. You need to have a good alarm system installed right. in your property. I'm glad you've seen the light, Richard. Yes, I am. Yes. I, I think you just not. stay home a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the easiest yeah. thing. Lots of house parties, absolutely. There's lots yeah. more information um, on our website, bbc.co.uk slash the one show. And we did put Amanda's house back to normal. Let's I mean, just clear that up. We didn't okay. leave her like that. I'm mean, interested in the States. There's, we've just